Hi Ben here, Amateur Radio Callsign M7FRS and it's been a while since I've featured the Q900 on my uh, channel and I did promise a while ago that I'd do a video featuring the cat control so in this video we're going to be using MMSSTV to send and receive SSTV images or slow scan television on the GUI Tech Q900 So the first thing we'll need to be able to operate the Q900 via CAT control is a USB to USB-C uh, lead. Now the one that actually came with the Q900 I think was duff right from the start so that never actually worked but I've uh, found another one that will, will suffice and if we spin the radio around we're going to not use, we're not using the USB port that we've used. If you've seen my previous videos, we've used the USB port for uh, uh, for a keyboard. We're going to be plugging the USB C lead in or the USB C end in uh, in the back of the radio there, and then the USB end uh, is going to go into our laptop or PC. I'm also going to plug in our 12 volt power supply, and we're going to be using this on two meters. So I'm going to be plugging in my uh, 2 meter 77s and 6 meters uh, V2000 into the back of the radio. We'll bring the laptop in and then we're going to plug the, I say, the USB end uh, into the side of the, uh, the laptop. Now, the hold up for me for getting this working uh, was really the, um, the operating system. My old laptop was Windows 8 and uh, this is Windows 11, and the Q900 needs Windows 10 or above to. Uh, uh, to operate so um, yeah I couldn't get it to work on the old or Windows 8 but it does, it does work uh, fine on this uh, laptop. So the first thing we need to do if we're going to send SSTV via MMSSTV, bit of a mouthful, uh, is to uh, download it. I'll put a link in the description down below of how to uh, download uh, MMSSTV. Uh, you then need to create a desktop icon, icon and uh, we've, we've got it here on the, on the desktop. I'll try and open that up and it says couldn't connect to COM4 for the PTT controls, so that's fine, that's because the radio switched off and it might not necessarily know it's COM4, it's just that because I've already had this uh, working uh, as you saw from the intro. So we'll close that and um, yeah it's going to say the sound has failed as well, now, microphone yet, like I say same thing because the radio switched off. So let's uh, maximise MMSSTV. Okay, so I've maximised the uh, screen and there's a few things we need to check first of all. So I'm going to go into options and we're going to look at uh, setup MMSSTV and then we're going to go into miscellaneous and check that the sound card input and output is both USB Q900, so that's the internal uh, sound card within the Q900 itself and that's all done through that uh, USB to USB-C lead uh, so they're both correct uh, let's go into TX and I, you can see that I'm using COM port 4 it'll probably be different on whatever PC you're, or computer you're using um, but uh, you can use your device manager to work out which COM port you're plugged into uh, if it hasn't all defaulted to it but like I say we're COM port 4 so that's good uh, I'm going to OK all of that and then I'm going to go into options uh, actually let's just check that again and uh, set up MMS TV we need to look at the radio command as well so that we know we've know we got the right type of radio so again in the transmit or TX box radio command and you need to select the Yaesu uh, FT817 uh, is what the protocol is for the Q900 so um, as long as we're on Yaesu FT817, uh, that'll operate that fine. There's a few different options in there. Um, so let's come out of that one and then out of that. And the other thing we need to check in the options is the sound card output level. Um, and you can see at the moment there's nothing for MMS TV in there at the moment. So I'm just going to uh, close that. I'm going to close MMS TV, MMSS TV. Actually, now let's just try transmitting. Uh, yeah, and then we'll stop the transmission again now. If I go into options, sound card output level, there we go. MMSSTV has appeared now, and you can see that I need to have that on 5%. Um, if you go any higher, 
or much higher than that then uh, the audio distorts and the radio clips and it just cuts out so uh, yeah make sure your uh, audio is nice and low uh, for the output it doesn't need to be very high at all so let's try sending some SS uh, TV then so we've got the uh, the Q900 uh, connected to the PC like I say via the uh, cat control cable let's bring in the Quansheng UVK5R just for receiving uh, I've got the power output quite low uh, it's just on 20% on the uh, on the Q900 because uh, obviously they're going to be quite close and then we'll use my Android mobile phone as well and uh, I'm going to uh, run a little app called Robot36 uh, which will decode the SSTV uh, from the uh, Quansheng as it's receiving the audio so let's hit transmit There you go, so you can see that is uh, sent uh, from the uh, Q900 to the uh, Quansheng and then the uh, Robot36 app has just decoded on the Android mobile phone. So let's check to see if the Q900 is uh, also receiving SSTV as well as sending it. So I'm going to go across to uh, RX or receive, so we've got the receive window open and I'm going to send an SSTV image uh, via the Quansheng UV5R Plus and if you're interested in seeing how that's done then I'll leave a link in the description down below uh, but let's get some SSTV sending There you go then, so that's sending and receiving uh, SSTV uh, using the MM SSTV software and um, cat control between uh, uh, laptop and the uh, GUI Tech Q900. If you've uh, enjoyed this video, please uh, like, subscribe, leave a comment, all that kind of thing, and I'll uh, try and do a few more on the uh, Q900 in the future. 7-3 for now, bye-bye.